Welcome back in to another video. I am so glad you're here. I hope you love jewelry as much as I do. If you do, you've arrived at the right channel. We're going to get started on a $50 jewelry bag jar, whichever you want to call it. They are one and the same in my eyes because they contain mysteries. And um, I love when people scoff at Goodwill, don't you? Oh, you can't find that at Goodwill. Oh, you'll never find that kind of stuff at Goodwill. Oh, it's just Goodwill jewelry. Yeah, it is often, but often it's treasure. I have found Yerman. I have found Tiffany more than once. Diamonds and rubies, and diamonds and sapphires, and many other wonderful things. Yes, I have found junk, and I will probably find some in here. I keep coming back for the lure of finding treasure, so let's dig in. I will start by showing you my rings of the day. This is one of my wraparound rings. This is a fabulous ring that I bought from an estate sale, um, and they told me it was that the, the lady who owned it had said it was a custom-made Alexandrite. Alexandrite. So I thought maybe it was a man-made Alexandrite. When I tested it on my Presidium that I had for about a month before it broke, and you know I absolutely don't trust the Presidium for anything but maybe detecting us. Uh, so it went to sapphire on the Presidium. So I'm thinking it might be a, um, a pink sapphire. I really need to send it off to a certified gemologist for certification. But regardless, it's in 14 karat gold and it is absolutely stunning. I adore it. I love the way it's set. It's got the deepest stone you've ever seen. It's just amazing. This one I got from Makeup Zombie here on YouTube. She does a Sunday sale and she said these were Ethiopian opals and this one kind of stood out. We thought it might be a, um, a moonstone, but I think it's just another variety of uh, of opal they're just gorgeous and i'm leaning towards grape garnets on the outer ones but i'm not sure regardless isn't it gorgeous i almost didn't buy it because i don't wear six six and a half very well they tend to fit me a little tight but i could not leave it figured if it doesn't fit i'll sell it but i'm really enjoying it for now all right let's open up this baby and see what we got now i hadn't seen a 50 dollars jar in a while so when i see them I get them and really I'm just happy to see them at all. I don't know what's in here. I have found some wonderful things at this store, but you just never know. It says love on it. It's a heavy little charm. It's very heavy actually. I don't believe it's gold, but we will test it nonetheless because I have been fooled before. This is some kind of a band or a ring. It looks like it's signed. Hmm. It is a very interesting script. It's got the recognizable, legible alphabet, but I can't make out that name. It is really long. Maybe it's all together. I don't know. Very pretty, though. I don't think I see any other mark. It'd be fabulous if it was gold, right? Here's a little stretchy pearl bracelet looks like it's about to lose its last stretch there it's pretty big okay here's some silver now this is what i want you to look at because when i found that amazing 14 karat gold italian white gold hanging on a rack it had designs like this and i do have that video uh archived somewhere i'll try to link it it was big like this. I really regret selling it. I should have kept it. I don't know why I didn't keep it. But uh, it was little, nothing but rings like this. And then on the third or fourth ring in is where the hallmark was written. 14 karat Italian gold. I sold it pretty quickly. And um, really, I think I paid $3 for it. So it was quite hefty and beautiful. So my point today is look for the white gold. They often fall through the cracks. Look for the ones that look like fashion pieces. They often fall through the cracks, okay? There is treasure out there. All you have to do is be open to it. Let everyone else scoff at the Goodwill. We know what's there. We know there's treasure there. We'll be there. They can all just keep laughing. That's fine. We have a fabulous bracelet here. This gold one is fun. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Really nice. Oh, I like the look of this one for sure. That's very pretty. Very bold gold. Nice little fold over clasp. I don't see a maker on it. Big ring. 
Oh my goodness, that is big. A big stretchy ring. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is huge. That is really, really big. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And here is a silver tone, very thin bangle. Here's another stretch. This one feels very heavy. Very pretty colors on this one. I love that champagne color for pearls. And here's a nice one. Look at this. These are glass. These actually appear to be lapis or soda light. Very nicely faceted. A little accent bead there. I love that. That is really pretty. I think that's a nice one. Okay, let's see what else is here. Uh, this looks like a handmade rosary with a turquoise cross. They did a good job on that. And man-made turquoise, I'm sure. Blue turquoise colored. Also synthetic imitation turquoise on that. Oh, this is pretty. Some unikite beads. These are gorgeous. You could easily use a shortener on this or a brooch. Fasten it here at the end and you'd have yourself a double strand. These are beautiful. Beautiful unikite beads. I love that earthy green and corally color. Very cool. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Then we have a pretty bangle. This is a copper base. Has some rhinestones around it. I think it had a match in here somewhere. Oh, this is a tiny little bangle. <gasps> this is a little child's. Oh, how pretty. This may be gold filled or 10K. Look at that teeny little thing. Oh, these are so cute. I bought all my daughter's little ID bracelets in gold. They all had their little bracelets and earrings. This one has the prettiest script. Oh my gosh, I can't read it. I think it says A C T. It could be N. Oh my god, Adelaide. Adelaide? It looks like an A T something or the other. Let me see if it has any marks on it. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. 10 carat. Yay! We paid for the bag. <laughs> That's always fun. We paid for the bag right here, if not doubled our money. Because it's a pretty big, pretty big bracelet. Fairly heavy. There it is. AK-10K. Apparently AK is the maker, the jeweler. How beautiful is that? And look at that. It's in perfect working order. Here's the name. Let me let you look at it because I cannot read it. I love the monogram though. Is that not beautiful? Althea. Probably a beautiful vintage name. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. Interesting how gold does get a patina. A lot of people think it doesn't, but it can. And when you shine them up, they really look pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. A, a little bit of gold is always fun. Here is a silver tone bangle in kind of a square design there. That's nice. Then we have a gold, coppery, tangly... Definitely tank. Ooh, look at this. This is missing a stone. Oh, but it's so pretty. Look at that pretty bracelet. Oh, wow. Maybe it fell in the back. Look how gorgeous that is. So I always look. I don't give up hope. But um, it's kind of an interesting color, too, isn't it? Kind of a berry color. If not, we'll see how we could fix that. This is very, very easily redesigned because you can always take these two off and just put chains. 
or replace it with a similar color and look how they have it kind of on the Rivoli angle there gorgeous bracelet I like that all right this one is like a little nameplate or something here Kellyanne Kellyanne at Kellyanne that's so cute that is so cute this looks like the kind you mail order um, Kellyanne that's a pretty name I've always liked the name Kelly and I don't see it looks like it might be stainless or a silver tone all right no I it doesn't have a marking on it but someone named Kellyanne no longer has their nameplate that's what those bracelets were called all right we have some enamel bangles an enamel bangle a silver tone bangle so we've got a few bangles this has a vintage design so i believe it is vintage and they had it for either 750 or 75 and it's got some nice interesting beads oh my gosh this could be a coro or something look how cute that is these look a little similar to the stones that i have on my elsa scaparelli bracelet they look very similar they're kind of iridescent in tone that is gorgeous oh there's a pearl there that looks like pearls it does have a name so we're going to check it in just a minute and this is a little vintage piece how cool is that oh my goodness that is pretty look at that these have to be twisted around that's a beautiful design it really is I'm wondering if this wasn't a marriage of sorts it might have been something that was repurposed tell me what you think it just says Germany that's what it says on the finding Germany very very cool I'm not sure what do you think but I love it I think they did a fabulous job on it there they go they're really pretty I love these beads they're all acrylic beads and the pearls are um, also acrylic I don't think they're glass but they were selling it for $75 oh my goodness somewhere someone probably had some kind of a vintage shop where they were selling it oh look at that some apples tree of life earth angel it says it's a nice bracelet and it's kind of made like the um, Alex and Ani but they have little beads on the end that's kind of cool I love the little enameled apple that is really cute uh, that that enameled apple actually looks like sterling let me look. yeah it's silver tone it's girl it's really pretty though I like that that's a nice one this is pretty this is really nice genuine abalone shell on here in the center beautifully done and then some dyed shell some pretty peridot colors I don't see a mark on it but it's a nice piece I like that one too colors are gorgeous this is my I shouldn't say favorite but this is one of my most favorite one of my most favorite color combinations is the green and purple or the peridot color with deep purple I love that here's another bangle this one has kind of a chain motif bangles are usually big on me I think that's why I'm really drawn these days to the Bakelite bangles they all fit oh these are damaged what a shame it looks like somebody got some kind of chemical on it or something and they could probably stand to be restrung anyway very nice vintage pearls though whoops they really are pretty oh my gosh I always get these I swear I have them in every color they remind me of Charlie Brown's shirt and this is another common occurrence sometimes they're pretty sometimes they they fit nicely and the colors are sometimes pretty nice too here are some fake 
shells. I think these are just plastic. Kind of a beachy look there. Fun little beachy look. These are some beaded ones. Kind of a gunmetal color. All of these are stretched. They're very pretty though, and they're all faux pearls. I used to have some of these that were real pearls, and I just kind of wear them all at once like that. They're pretty. This is a nice one. This is a nice statement necklace. No maker on it. Feels like a nice weight. These are glass. Oh, these are nice. Oh, I think the last time I got a strand of these long glass, strong and not faceted glass beads. This is super long, super long, probably about 40 inches long. Oh, I love this. Beautifully done. Very nice and heavy. Here's a gold ring. Let's hope it's real. It's marked. Let me see what it says. This one says 18 or 81. <laughs> oh my goodness. This one actually looks like real gold too. And this one appears to be hallmarked. Yeah, this one says 18. It doesn't say 18K. But it appears to have had initials on the inside. It may have been a wedding band. I will show you everything. But it does indeed say 18. Okay, it will pick up things that are not gold. And it is not picking up that, but that doesn't mean anything. That's not my only method of testing, so I will put it on the acid. We could do it now if you want. Let's do it. We we'll might as well test this and the bracelet, right? Let's do it. Let me know if you're liking this video. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, here we go with the acid testers. Now for this one, I will do the 18 karat acid. It will not turn colors. This kit does not turn colors. This kit eats it up. Unless I use the 18K for sterling, then it turns it kind of a blue fizzy color. But I do have sterling silver acid for that. But I usually use the other. And then we're going to do the 10K for the bracelet. All right, let's do that. Might as well. I don't always do that. I don't always have it handy. <laughs> Sometimes I can't find. So what I do is make a simple scratch. It does have a nice scratch. Kind of chalky. Usually the gold plated stuff starts peeling. Okay, I think it was a wedding band, honestly. And let's do the bracelet. Bracelets over here on this side. All right, this is 10 carat. And I put a good drop on that. And this one is 18. And we'll put a good generous drop of that one as well. And then we'll see what's going on. It will immediately eat it if it is not gold. And they are gold. 10 carat and 18 respectively. How amazing is that? All right, so the, the band is gold. I'll let you see the inside of it. To me, it appears to have an old faded monogram. This says 18. Right there. There's the 18. And then the other sides, I don't know, they just seem to have like little squiggly lines. Can you see that? So that's pretty good. I love that. We just got a little stretchy beaded one. Tiger eye, that's pretty. Stretchy tiger eye. Like that. There's another rosary. Another beautiful rosary. Oh my goodness, this one's beautiful. 
this one has kind of a resin coating with a heart and I think this is St. Teresa if I'm not mistaken because of the roses but I'm not sure beautiful crystal beads on that as well amazing opalescent coated beads how pretty is that very nice no mark on this cross this one has roses as well very nice and oh it looks like one of the beads fell off of that necklace i have to repair that another stretch bracelet these are some wooden beads not crazy about these a necklace with some wooden beads and kind of braided there feel a little look they're actually shedding i don't know i'm not sure what to do i may have to just trash them I just don't want them to ruin the, anything else. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a nice one. With some coins. Oh, I love coins. Is this Stella and Dot? It is. It's the hearts with the dot. So this is a good piece. I love Stella and Dot. This is so cool, too. It is not over the top. Like some coin pieces can really be over the top and overpowering. Not to mention the beautiful melodic sound, which I enjoy, but many people don't. <laughs> many people don't when you're around them. Look how precious that is. That is, this almost looks like the real deal because of that subtle color and design. I honestly thought I was looking at something gold. And of course, it's got some royal figure there. Oh, some noble figure coins. And they've got them designed on the back as well. Very subtle. Even the designs are just barely visible, aren't they? And this is long. This is probably 22 inches long or 20 inches long. So that's a nice touch, but you can also make it a choker. I love this. I love this. This is a beautiful piece. And what do we have here? Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Very nice shells with crystal beads. This has a hook closure. Oh, this is nice. Double strand. Lovely color. That's gorgeous. That is just really pretty. Can you just see that on someone with the perfect coloring? and dress or top i love that some kind of biwa pearl baroque pearl baroque just stands for anything that's not round so when you're not sure what kind of pearl it is just say baroque and it's not round look at that talk about a beautiful color on that this one still has the remnants of a tag it's got some beautiful AB crystals. It, let me take a look at the toggle, see if it isn't stamped. Did not find a mark, but look how precious that is. These are just gorgeous. Look at that. That is a beautiful piece. And some kind of Baroque pearl there. Very genuine. Very nice. Okay, here's a blow dryer. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. The scissors and the blow dryer. Perfect for the hairdresser in the family. And it's silver tone. Nice little charm necklace. I love that. Okay, here is something big and chunky and <laughs> cute. Look at this. It's got a magnetic closure. That's always easy. And this can sit on the side. It's funny, but <laughs> you might think no one would wear this, but a lot of young women really like these fun, whimsical things that are almost um, retro to the 40s and all that bold jewelry of the Joan Crawford days. Isn't that gorgeous? Of course, with a a notch up above with the fabulous colors. 
pastel. Ooh, look at this. This is pretty. Not sure what these stones are. They might just be resin or glass, but that is beautiful. I think the gold tone looks great with the coppery colored. Oh, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. That gives me a little archaeological revival look, doesn't it? These are black. These are imitation turquoise. Some kind of a metallic bead. And then these little leaves look like a coral imitation. And well done, I might add. Absolutely well done. I love this. That is amazing. Very pretty. Gorgeous design. I love the colors that they chose for that design. Of course, we got the requisite watch. We always do. And that's got the Eiffel Tower on it. Pretty watch. If you wear watches, which I do. Needs a battery, I'm sure. It looks like it was never even worn. And all the rhinestones are there. And then this is a nice chain, whatever it is. Is that a mask? I can't tell what this is supposed to be. Is it open? It looks like some kind of enhancer. It may have broken off. That's what I'm thinking. But it's got rhinestones and everything on it. And then these are for your glasses. Oh, aren't these pretty? <laughs> I've never worn these. My sister bought me, or she gave me some. Where did she buy them? She was in, I think she was in Spain or somewhere. No, not Spain. Where did she go? Argentina. She went to Argentina. I think she bought them there. They were made of lapis and other gemstones. Really beautiful. But uh, I just could not bring myself to wear these little things. But I turned it into a necklace. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That's a nice one, though. But I know they're very handy, especially for people that sew or do different things where they have to have their glasses handy and they only need them for certain tasks. So they definitely come in handy. This is a little three charm necklace. This is just some kind of a nylon. And we have a very nice stone there, some a, B stones and a pearl and some a rose there. Very nice. This looks like hematite. Very big. Sometimes these stretch bracelets really don't work out with heavy beads and I do believe these are genuine hematite. They're very heavy. Here's a silver tone chain. That's interesting. I probably It probably had a charm attachment on it. Alright, then we have a shell medallion there with a little rope of beads another matching bangle to the square one so we have a few of those over here i'm going to put those in my bangle box i have a box devoted to bangles these are acrylic purple look i like that i love purple these need to be cleaned up i like the purple pearl as well that's pretty Okay, yet more bangles, and some of them do match the other ones. What in the world is this a belt? Oh, cute. This is a belt. Look at that. This is a belt. It is indeed. And it is very nice. Very nice. I do wear belts. I have a couple of dresses that are kind of kind of roomy. Sometimes I like to belt them with something like this or a leather belt. A little denim shirt dress that I have. So belts are nice. They really are. That is pretty. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, this is pretty. This is very nice. This is marked by White House Black Market. Yeah. This is the White House Black W H B M. This is very nice. These are glass beads. These are pearls. Real pearls. 
Very cool. All right, so we've got some real pearls. This is a an elegant piece. Truly elegant. These are genuine pearls. And that is gorgeous. I guarantee you this cost triple what the bag cost. That is gorgeous. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, that is nice. That under a collar or an, a white popped collar button-up shirt, beautiful. Oh my goodness, that was it. That was the $50 jar or bag. $49.99. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I was really ecstatic about the gold pieces. Again, I made my money back and then some. Please let me know if there's ever anything that you have found of interest in any haul, whether it's a thrift haul or a jewelry haul. You need only email me at thelmahords at gmail.com. All that information is always in my description boxes. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you hit that bell for notifications, you will never miss another video. Thank you again. Bye-bye.